Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Director. This video we will see how to add template for host. So we can create separate template for Cloudera Manager host, worker host and masters. And the template is nothing but uh, where we mention uh, the which host type we need to deploy and which security group uh, all those details we can mention in host template. So we have already uh, uh, created an environment. So choose that environment. So for AWS, we created an environment called AWS underscore demo where we updated details like AWS keys, region, etc. And uh, we have updated, uploaded the key file also. So now uh, we will create a template for uh, host. So first choose this uh, template and go to the third tab where we have we can see the templates go ahead and create an instance template so first one we can just mention so cloud RAM manager template okay so the host where we are deploying the cloud RAM manager so we can choose this host type and which host we need so maybe t2 large or t2x large based on your requirement so AMI, the type of uh, machine or instance type that we are using. So I can get the AMI from already deployed VM. So I can go to the Cloud RAM Manager, I mean AWS console. And uh, this is the AMI ID which I choose. So I'm using the same AMI ID here. Okay, so I've already copied that into a notepad. So this is the AMI ID. So use that tag you can see uh, role here cloudera manager server okay and uh, if you have multiple uh, roles to be or multiple tags to be created so that it will be added to the instance that we deploy and security group id and a vnet a subnet id so the subnet id you can get from here so that is the id where uh, we are deploying our vm i mean basically we are using this network so network security group is the basic firewall that is available in aws so you can see uh, the, what is the network security rule we used i used http training and uh, that security id is this one so this is kind of a wide open access uh, inbound and outbound are completely open so you can choose that id or if you have any other uh, specific security group id you can choose that also so this is my security group id i am adding that also here and click expand this advanced option and uh, the instance name like uh, what type of instance name you need so you can say uh, like uh, cloudera iphone ec2 so whatever the prefix you need you can do that in here so the remaining options i'm leaving as default and disk size i'm adding or may changing to 50. so you can increase or decrease this value based on the requirement and uh, the remaining values i'm choosing pretty much defaults and uh, the last one ssh username so this one i am using centos because i use this user to log in with this ami so whatever the ami which i choose support centos as user and that key i already updated into uh, this environment so if you are having some other uh, uh, username or some other AMI we are using so you need to change that username accordingly so go ahead and save if you have some uh, bootstrap script to execute you can upload that also here so that will execute that so I don't have any anything I'm just leaving and save this change so now I created template for Cloudera manager go ahead and create template for uh, uh, master as well as the workers so this one I'm just using worker host template 
right and uh, what type of incense I need for worker uh, so I'm choosing uh, T2 medium and AMI ID the same AMI ID use and uh, security group ID whatever the security group ID which I choose the same security group I can use here so this is the security group ID and uh, subnet ID get the subnet ID and uh, this one I can just use cloud or uh, iPhone or just use uh, workers so that uh, the created instances will be with the, uh, this prefix and uh, also we have a, we can have the tag so roles workers and uh, I'm just adding this to 50 gig and uh, use the username as CentOS so worker template also ready and one more template for master just writing master template and uh, instance type uh, t2 large or if I want to increase or decrease that is also fine and uh, AMI ID choose that AMI and the tag role then master and uh, security group copy the security group ID then VPC ID so our subnet ID choose then uh, just use uh, master as prefix and uh, size that is 50 is okay for me and uh, username is CentOS okay, go ahead and save it well, you can have multiple uh, templates created and we will be using this template when we deploy the cluster so only thing you need to do is so create an environment once the environment is created choose that environment and uh, then go to the tab templates go ahead and create the template okay you can we can create the template for master worker and uh, also if you have a uh, edge host or if you want to deploy edge host okay edge template so instance i need a t2 medium or relatively uh, lightweight instance for my edge host and uh, tag i'm just using edge and uh, security group id so choose this one and uh, vpc id or subnet id choose the subnet and uh, it's and uh, changing this and uh, here username centos okay so this much template i can create or uh, remove the template uh, here from this template option and but, but this template is valid for this particular environment only if you create a new environment or new uh, or separate environment so you need to create the template for that one also i hope the template creation is clear so we will see in the next video thank you for watching bye